So I've had a lot of questions about Bambi, uh, my new Samoyed girl. Um, believe it or not, I did just give her a bath, um, but she likes to dig and get dirty. So I did get a new dog. Um, she is about six months old now. Um, I got her shipped in from Poland. Yes, all the way from Poland. And I got her like literally a week before I gave birth. So since she was coming from Poland, I did have to wait for her to be a bit bigger before I could um, get her shipped here because um, they have to have their rabies shot and I know that they have to be a certain age before. Um, so I got her shipped here and she's been a dream. I'm absolutely in love with her. She is, you know, perfect bare head perfect um, eyes everything she looks a lot like Marshy um, which is what I want because um, Marshy's like my baby and he's perfect in my eyes so I've really been on the search for a girl that you know matches him and will let his genetics shine through and I definitely found her um, she is you know beautiful uh, six pedigree um, or six generation pedigree um, all championship uh, bloodline so yes so a lot of you guys in my last video when you saw her were asking about my other puppy that I got um, so it's a long story the other girl Marsha May I had originally wanted to get a girl and name her Marsha May because his name is Marshy so I got her and um, when I first got her you know she just looked like a little white puppy like they do and everything was fine right and then as she started to get older i started to notice um that she just did not look right i will insert pictures here Um, these dogs are, you know, great dogs, but they do have a certain look to them. And I always knew that the girls, like, no offense, the girls aren't uh, usually as cute as the boys. But um, I did keep that in mind. Uh, their faces are just more narrower. It's hard to find, like, a good bear head like her. You know, she has, like, a perfect bear head. She's literally sitting on my lap right now. Um, so... I kept that in mind and her personality was nothing like this one. She was very skittish, very timid. Um, she just wasn't the characteristics of a Samoyed. And on top of that, her look was nothing like a Samoyed. So a couple months went by and like she was just not fitting in. Uh, Mar, she's like very high energy, likes to run around, likes to jump, likes to play. And she would just be scared. She would run away from him. This one will literally throw him through the ringer. And he's actually a little butt hurt over there because she's sitting on my lap. <laughs> and he knows he's a mama's boy. She's Miss Alpha. What? Get him. <laughs> Get him. Good girl. Good girl. She's on the table. <laughs> So yeah, this one, perfect match for Marshy. She put him in his place. She's alpha now. He was alpha, but she's alpha now. Um, they fit together perfectly. And my other one, she was just not it. Like, I really tried to give her a chance, and it just wasn't working. I didn't feel a connection with her. Um, she wasn't what I wanted, because I ultimately want to breed her with Marshy. Um, they're both beautiful dogs. I'm in love with the dogs. I want to have generations and generations and generations of Marshy's, you know, offspring. Um, like until I die, <laughs> I want to have a piece of him. Um, cause as you know, dogs don't live forever. Um, so I really wanted to, you know, build off of Marshy's like, in my mind, his perfection. Like I love him. He's a perfect specimen. He is beautiful, beautiful personality, beautiful temperament so kind, caring, empathetic, uh, and she has all those same characteristics. So the other one, um, I'll insert pictures. She looks nothing like this one. 
And when I reached out to the breeder that I got her from, she said, oh, she might just be going through a puppy ugly stage. And she, I was like, Marshy never went through a puppy ugly stage. Um, and neither has she. She's been beautiful since I got her, since she was born, yes. So I was kind of like, okay, um, well, she just doesn't look right, right? I'm like, she. I know what a Samoyed looks like. I have Marshy, I spent, you know, four grand on Marshy. And this one that I got, um, I only spent two grand on her, which I was a little weary, but you know, um, I just really wanted to get a girl and really wanted to jumpstart like my future, what I want to do with these dogs her pictures and she's like oh she might just be going through a puppy ugly stage um you know I, ne I never promised breeding quality I promised pet quality and I was like okay well that's great and all but I was not interested in a pet quality dog I want a perfect you know breeding quality dog so it just wasn't working out um I didn't ask for my money back but ultimately I did give the dog back because uh, Marshy didn't like her, um, you know, she was a really sweet dog, it just, she wasn't what I wanted, and she was starting to go into heat, and I did not want him to have puppies with her, and then the breeder accused me of being money hungry, and I said, if I was money hungry, I would have bred her when she went into heat, and, you know, sold the puppies as little white fluffy, you know, puppies like you did to me, and they would have sold, and it wouldn't be until they got older, if possibly Marshy's genes, you know, kicked in, and they looked, you know, more Samoyed, um, the people who bought them wouldn't know until they got older. But no, I, I want to be able to show you the mom. I want to be able to show you the dad. I want to, um, you know, be legit. I don't want to have, you know, an ugly mom, no offense. I don't want to have that. And so we kind of got a little like back and forth and ultimately I just gave her um, her dog back. And I saved up for another one. My boyfriend actually bought me Bambi. Um, she was shipped in from Poland because I was just like, I'm done with U.S. breeders. Like, for some reason, the breeders in the U.S. are like scammers. Like, I got lucky with Marshy. Like, thank God, the breeder from him, um, I got lucky. But again, she was just a one mom, one, one dad. So I wouldn't be able to get another puppy from her. And both of his parents were imported. Um, I think one of his was from Russia and the other one was from uh, Siberia. Um, and his dad was beautiful. So I started looking, you know, overseas. I started, you know, talking to Polish and Russian people who actually breed these dogs and show these dogs, which by the way, um, more sketchy than dealing with US breeders because the breeders in the US, a lot of them will just take your deposit and then, um, you know, never give you a puppy. Um, or like they have like a two year wait list. So I was literally on Facebook searching and searching, talking to complete strangers, complete um you know championship people that show their dogs and stuff and there was this one guy who i loved his dogs they were so beautiful but what he does is he has a litter and he keeps all of them and shows all of them and then whichever ones doesn't do the best he like gets rid of or whatever i'm not really sure but his dogs were beautiful and then i found where i got her from and um her dogs were beautiful as well i had talked to so many breeders and i would look at their puppies and i was very specific i wanted them to look like marshy and she does I wanted a certain look. I wanted the bare head. I wanted the personality. I wanted all these things. And um, it was a long journey and trying to convince my boyfriend to drop another four grand. It was like 4,500 for shipping and everything. Uh, to get another Samoyed after our experience with Marsha May was not easy, um, but he knew that this was my dream and this is what I want to do and like my love for my dogs. So he, you know, splurged on me, thank you. And we got her right before I had the baby and I was really scared that I wouldn't be able to manage her and the baby at the same time. But Marshy just like took her under his wing. She's like his right hand man. She does whatever he does. She's staring at him right now, probably, you know, taunting him that she's sitting on my lap. Um, so yeah, they are a perfect match made in heaven. And um, that's why I told my, my boyfriend, I was like, you know, we took a loss with Marsha May, but like, I really have a good feeling. Ow! Oh! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, I really have a good feeling about this one. And I didn't know if her breeder was going to be a, a scammer because she lives in Poland. So what am I going to do? Fly out to Poland and try to find some lady that I met on um, on Facebook that I can't even pronounce her name properly? What are you doing? So that wasn't going to work. Um, so I just, we took a leap of faith. And by the time that she got here and she was in my arms, I was so happy. I knew immediately that she was perfect. 
Um, so yes, I did get another dog and yes, I did get rid of the other one. And I know, you know, there's a bunch of controversy about this, but these dogs are, you know, what I want to have for the rest of my life. I don't want to have another dog. And I know spending, you know, four grand on a dog is ridiculous, <laughs> but I mean, look at them like they're to die for. So, um, that's my Samoy journey. I kind of did get scammed. I mean, I still got a puppy, but, um, here I'll bring Marshy. Marshy, this is Marshy. He is about two. Um, so I kind of, uh, uh no, ma'am. I kind of did get scammed, but uh, I did get the puppy, but she was not a Samoyed. Oh, and that was the other thing. How I kind of found my breeders is um, I was searching, because uh, I'm on like a Samoyed group, and I was searching for uh, people that gave, because um, Marsha May's whole like, uh, you know, AKC, and she wasn't even AKC, first of all and her it was just a sketchy situation like she it, the documents didn't really look legit and so i was kind of snooping on facebook and then that's when i found this lady who bred these other dogs that looked just like marsha may it was a different breed of dog it was not a samoyed it was still a white dog fluffy tail but it was not a samoyed and shout to her and she said yes i did give that lady a dog and i don't know what she's doing with it and I was like, well, I just got one of the puppies and this is what they look like because breeders know like um, when you have certain characteristics, when you have a face like this, um, your puppies aren't going to turn out looking like like how Marsha made it. So, yeah, um, their claws are a little sharp. So um, ultimately, uh, I found out she was a fraud. She was breeding Samoyed-esque dogs, Samoyed-esque. And they weren't really Samoyed, so um, so uh, I kind of, you know, said that to her too, and then um, found out what actual dog Marsha May was and why it made sense, how she had none of the characteristics of Marshy and, you know, didn't really have the personality, and it was crazy. As soon as she got here, it was like full-blooded Samoyed personality i don't care this is my home i'm gonna make myself at home high energy running around with marshy putting him in his place like she's getting a little rowdy right now but um yeah so i finally got the girl of my dreams yes and uh now i know that if i do want to get another girl um for marshy that i'm gonna go overseas um and i just can't wait She's doing everything the right way. She's cleared for her eyes. I gotta get her cleared for her hips at two years. And that's what like really hurt me about her saying I was money hungry. It's like, no, like I'm waiting. I want my puppies to be perfect specimens like Marshy. I don't wanna have, you know, half-assed dogs. I wanna have perfect Samoids, big bear heads. I want to show them when I get older. And like, this is what I wanna do for the rest of my life. So no, honey, I am not money hungry. Um, if I was, I would have kept your, you know, pet, quality dog and bred him with my championship dog, but I didn't. Um, I gave her back and I kept him away for her heat. So no, like thousands and thousands of dollars have gone into this for dogs. Um, yes, I know that sounds ludicrous, but um, the, just the thought of Marshy, like, I don't know, I'm so weird about reproducing. Like just the thought about him, like never having an offspring with how perfect he is, that just seems like a waste to me. Like I want him to have his family. I want him to have his sons, his daughters. I don't know. I want to have a bunch of land with all these dogs running as a pack. Um, so that's what I want. And, um, you know, if I breed him and I, uh, keep all of his puppies, I don't care. Like they are the best dogs in the world. I am absolutely over the moon in love with them. I will never own another dog. Uh, obviously they aren't native to the United States. They are, you know, more colder climate. Of course, Marshy's going to be at the head of that because um, he is my baby so yeah it all worked out in the end but yes I did want to make a quick video and tell you guys the whole backstory about Bambi uh, I gave her the name Bambi because she kind of looks like a little baby deer like a little doe when she like you know pokes her head and gets into stuff um, but yes this is Marshy's new girlfriend she is here to stay I'm not gonna get another girl um, at least for a couple years let's say bye say bye Marshy say love you see you later <laughs> Say bye. <laughs>